Hello. Right, do the next page for our little um, book. Um, we stopped at Christmas. I thought we'd have a break for January. Um, could have done sort of wintry ones, I suppose. But um, yeah, I just needed a break. So, so that's our last one. So it's yes, yeah, becoming a nice little book now. Might start thinking about stitching them together because at the moment I've just got them pinned, as you can see. So, um, but yeah, that you know we need to get them stitched together, I guess. So maybe we'll do that at the end. I don't know when the end will be. <laughs> Keep going as long as you're happy. That's fine. Um, right, so February, um, as you can see, why not? Let's go heart themed. I'm hoping I'm going to stay on screen, yeah. Um, okay, so cut out some hearts basically. Hopefully, you've got a little bit of a stash going now. Maybe you've got some old clothes that you can cut up. Yeah, start building your stuff. I had to get a piece of old um, bed sheet because uh, I'd run out of the other stuff that I have been using. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Now, I have got Sizzix dies. You know, you you just go on Pinterest. There are literally hundreds of downloadable free templates for you to cut out hearts. OK, I did use my Sizzix dies. I just thought I'd show you that. So I've got a sort of slightly bigger one, a couple of little ones. And then I've got one that I cut out of felt. And my plan is, is that I'm going to leave this one loose. I'm just going to stitch down the middle. That's why I put a crease. I don't know if you can see um through the middle here i just wanted to get that lined up so i'm going to stitch the back one on and leave them just do stitches down here just to leave that one loose so i really fancy that when you open the book it you know it's free so i've just got two little ones here and then i've got this piece here which is what this was cut out of and i thought i'd use the blank the um the bit left over uh, I can never remember, that would be the stencil, wouldn't it? Yeah, because that would be the mask. So the stencil there. And then I had this. It came off a really naff piece of jewellery from the car boot. And I thought, ideal. So I thought that just would fit in there, lovely. And we'll stitch that down. OK, that's the plan. Um, I don't know if you are also doing the uh, 52 Tags Handmade by Anne Brooke. Uh, she did fly stitch. And we're going to do the same. Um just do what you like really i mean it's up to you i just thought fly stitch would look quite nice up the middle here um sorry if i'm jogging you uh because it's a stitch that you have the center leg here if you like and then the two bits coming off so we'll do that um if you're wondering what on earth i'm on about let me get my ancient book here it's this stitch here okay so two bits coming off and the bit in the middle and i just thought that would look quite nice there and then, I don't know, I might just do running stitch around these. Definitely running stitch around this and running stitch around the heart. And then this, I'll just, there's tiny little holes around the edges there. If I can get a needle small enough, I'll I'll just tack that down. I'm not going to go mad with it. Um, yeah, and then, you know, you do you. If you want to put a, a cluster of um, French knots here in a heart shape, go for it. So, yeah. Should we get going? I won't let this run on. Um, I, it might be a case of I'll do a bit and then I'll come back and show you it all done type thing because otherwise it could take a while. So first of all, I need to remove some of this. I don't need all that on there. So let, I just want to get this one stitched down first of all. Um, I am going to do a uh, sort of craft with me or sew with me on this. OK, I've had a lot of people interested in uh, learning how to do that so that's fine I mean it's not it really isn't difficult but I know sometimes it's easier if you are shown step by step so we will do that um, yeah that's about it really so yeah I'm just going to do a very simple running stitch around here uh, I might pause this bit and come back you know running stitch in out in out in out okay and then I hopefully will have time to sit with you and do the fly stitch I will be back in a minute Right, I'm just finishing off the last stitch. I'll give you a close up, bear with me. Okay, so I literally just went round with a very simple running stitch around the edge here in this sort of um, salmon y coloured thread. It's a, I picked up a load off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was a suitcase full of wool, but in amongst the wool was uh, all these lovely threads as well, which, you know amazing so now as i say i want to leave this i think i've got that centralized 
I want to leave this floating as it were so I'm just going to come I'm going to run my thread along the back here and hopefully come up in the middle right so let me see if I can go up close for you hang on let me stand up It'll probably be easier for you to see okay um i just want to make sure i've got this in the middle and just put a pin there doesn't matter if you go off slightly it's not a biggie okay right the way i do this is i come out to the side it's very hard to do standing up uh no i don't hang on no i need to come down here What <laughs> hang on I'm having a moment I need to come out to the side let me just remove that that's what's wrong uh you wouldn't believe not long done it right let's try that again right you need to come out to the side <laughs> Uh, stop turning the work right okay and then come to the other side I'm just desperate to keep this line straight and I don't think it's going to happen and then kind of loopy doopy and then finish it off all right so come out to the side and I'll try and keep these as even as possible Right, you go in the middle, thank you. Okay, so hold your work there, hold the thread there, come out to the side, still not even, about there, about there, tuck that under. I'm going to have to draw a straight line on here because I am going well off I use my friction pen and then um, I can just iron it afterwards just gonna go lightly I can't actually see the middle where are you there I've got the ring light on and it kind of blocks your vision your view but you wouldn't be able to see anything if I didn't have it on so that's why it's on Right, are we going anywhere near straight? Kind of. Okay, so come down at the back and then come out to the side again. Am I staying on screen? Yes. Okay, come out to the side. You don't have to do this stitch. Do whatever stitch you like. If, you just, if you're just happy with a running stitch up the middle there, do that. Yeah, because I've gone well wonky here, but... Never mind, it's our little practice book, we don't mind. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to try. Yeah, it's much easier if you've got a central line. If you haven't got a friction pen which disappears with heat, um, just, um, just use a pencil or uh, what else could you use? You could just run a, a, do a, a tacking stitch up the middle actually. A, that would hold it down to save you having to use pins, and B, it would give you a straight line to follow, and then you can just take it out afterwards. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I don't know. So, yeah, just do that up the middle. I think the more you do, the more accurate you become, so because you kind of get into the stitch. This is not going well. <laughs> I've got a right wonky donkey. Never mind. It is what it is. Yeah, 
Oh, they were was it the wonky at the start there, right? Hmm. Okay. Never mind. It is all right. I'm allowing myself to make mistakes. like everything it just takes practice as the old saying is practice makes perfect and it is true it is very true I'm gonna run out of thread right at the last stitch Hopefully. You could do this in all sorts of colours. Um, so I'm just using this, uh, so it's, it's like a salmony pink colour. Quite nice. Oh, I've gone offline again. Dear. Never mind. Oh, come on. Am I going to make it? Go in, come out. And go down. Okay, I sort of messed up that last one. If you're not happy with it, just take it out, but Not brilliant. Oh, should I take it out? Yes, take it out because you're not happy with it, so just take it out. Right, right. get the eye end and just pull the stitches out if you're not happy. It's this one that went wrong. bit of thread no I won't okay right concentrate oh come on oh really Desperately don't want to re-thread my needle with more thread. Come on. Come on. You can do it. No, don't pull out. Wow. Why are you being so stubborn? Thank you. tidy these up a bit okay I missed the center slightly but do you know what it's all right okay I'm a bit happier with that mm, not my best work but you know it's okay it's standing up I, I struggle standing up sewing so yeah I really wanted those to stay loose which is good so that's fine uh, what should we do? I might do these. I'll do these off screen. I think. Um, I think in again just a sing a simple running stitch around there. But I'll use this slightly darker thread so that, that really shows up. 
Um, this one, uh, let me see how long we've been going. Sorry, I'll just put my hand there. 15. I'll, I'll do this one live then, because it's only 15 minutes. Right, I'm going to use that same salmon-y coloured thread. I might redo that. <laughs> See, I warmed up as I was went up there, but um, yeah. I might just leave it because we are just practicing and I can't get this needle threaded. Come on. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, how to do this knot before. Lay your needle on the, on your thread, wrap it around twice, just hold your thread on the needle and pull your needle through. Just do that. I think it's called a quilter's knot or something. And then under your fingers, it makes a knot down the end. It's a really nice way of making a knot, actually. And I learnt that off of... Uh, oh, Chinese lady. I can't remember her name. Anyway, she does hers like that, and I thought that was very interesting. She's got a YouTube channel. The life of me, I can't think what she's called. Handy Mum Lin. There you go, it came to me. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to lay this down while I'm doing this. Can't hold it up and do a running stitch, I'm afraid. So it's just this very simple in, out, in, out. Try and work on keeping your stitches as even as you can. Pull your work flat and just, no, don't you dare, of course I'm not. If you get a knot, just get your needle in there and just pull gently. And it should pop out like it just did. Right. I think in the corner I'll do a cross stitch. It's a bit wonky. Yeah, standing up and doing it. All right, just lay that there. Come on, stay. Not perfect, but that's me. Yeah. 
I must get some little pins. You know, short, shorter ones. Mine are all big dressmaking ones. So, I shall have a look for some of those. Why the cross stitch? Well, because they're kisses, aren't they? We're kind of going Valentiney here. Don't judge my cross stitches. <laughs> I know they're not good. I'm just desperately trying not to pull too hard on that felt because I think it'll it'll break there. So. Bit narrow. And as we didn't start out with a cross, maybe we will just do. Oh. Let's see if I've got a little button. Stay there. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it, in the corner? Oh, look at that, a little pink one. Will that show up? Ooh, here's a nice one. It's a solid colour. Oh, yeah, we'll have you. Is that going to fit through there? It should do. I'm going to turn it over because it's got some weird markings on the other side and I prefer that side anyway. So Let me go side to side. I mean, you know, if you want to put more buttons on, go for it. If you've got a stash of buttons, then uh, by all means. And for fastening it off, it's the same thing. You just put your thread round twice, pull the needle through, and then it just sort of makes itself into a knot on the back of your work. Quite a tidy, neat knot. So, neat knot. We like a neat knot. Right, so that's how it's looking so far. Let's get those pins out of the way as I'm bound to stick myself with them. Yeah. Nice. Right, so that needs to go in there, no problem at all. I mean, you could just do sort of the three hearts this side, I suppose. That's quite nice, isn't it? And maybe just do a giant size one of these up the side here. Change your plan. <laughs> I like that. I like them all stacked on one side, and then I think I'll do with this thicker thread. I'll do that, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, because this I'm just going to stitch on, uh, back stitch, and then I'll I might show you me doing this, but we'll see how time goes. All right, I'll back in a bit. Right, I'll just bring you back for the last bit. So I've just stitched those on with this really thick thread, which was a nightmare to pull through. Stabbed myself a couple of times. I'm just hoping it's not going to bleed. Uh, so I did those, um, stitched the metal one on. I, I'd noticed there were some little holes and things. So um, I just went through with a very a finer cotton and just stitched that on. So that's fine. It's not, it's a bit, it's a bit dented. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be fine. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do the um, big fly stitches up the side here and then we're going to call it a day. So these are not going to be... Uh, right, hang on, out to the side. I'm not going to do them in a straight line. I'm just going to do them quite ad hoc, higgledy-piggledy, because that's the look I want. I don't want them 
See, this is just a nightmare, that thread. Let me get up a bit further for you. There we are. Um, yeah, I'm going to do slightly longer legs on them as well. So... Yeah, it's a nice stitch. I love this stitch. It's it's good fun. I find it really quick and easy to do. I know some people really don't like it at all, but I do. And again, look on Pinterest. There is hundreds of ways of decorative ways of using this in all sorts of projects. Just stay on screen. Um, yeah, so uh, there's lots to be inspired by on Pinterest, isn't there? It's an easy way to waste three hours of your life. Well, it is for me anyway. So, I hope you're in sort of doing this, maybe just maybe just enjoying watching it being done. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's uh, oh hello. Where did I go there? No, I have to go back the other way. Oh, that's throwing me. That I can't do it. <laughs> Oh, that was weird. Came out the wrong side. Go in. Oh, don't do that again. <laughs> yeah, um, you were going to carry on. Um... I've got a couple of more shapes that I want to explore and then maybe we'll call that quits because we're going to have quite a few little pages in our book and then we'll concentrate on getting it um, all stitched together and um, maybe uh, make a little cover. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see if inspiration strikes. I don't know how many other shapes I've got left. Bear with me. <clears throat> Hearts, oh squares, yeah, we haven't done squares yet. We've done rectangles, but not squares. Um, yeah, I was, I was contemplating a weaving page for that one, so that could be fun. So maybe we'll do that next time. Gather some scraps, even if it's just bits of ribbon, um, anything really. Just something that you can weave. Oh, we've got circles to do yet, and leaf shape, diamond, yeah, we've got another couple of pages yet. Right, okay. We'll keep going. I'll finish my list <laughs> and then uh, I'll let you guys go. Right. I'll just go right to... Like I say, I'm not worried about these looking pretty. It's just about practising that stitch, which is great. I think it, I think it huh, flies along. The fly stitch flies. Funny that. Yeah, um, as I say, stick on some more buttons if you've got some. I mean, you might even have some heart-shaped ones and that would look lovely. Uh, maybe some flowers in the middle of those hearts if you do that sort of, you know, that design. Um, yeah, good fun. I have got um, a Facebook page, Susie Q Makes. Um, if you do this and you want to upload some pictures onto there, I think I think that's all you need to do. Do I need to make a page? I'm, I've got a page, but I'm not sure... I don't know. Or email me at um, Suzy Q Makes. Uh, I think it's .co.uk. Oh, lordy, that's helpful, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. I'll put the um, I'll put the email address at the bottom there, and do kind of like um, Anne Brooke does, where she puts some. I suppose I ought to make a hashtag. I don't know. You tell me what you want to do. If you if you want, I'll I'll create a hashtag and then that's easier to follow, isn't it? And it's easier to upload and um saves you having to faff around. And me. So there we are. Um yeah, so just practice a bit down the side there. Heart see, I think what I envisage is when you open the book. Ta da and that pops up and it stays up. Happy with that. Yeah, it needs more. I mean, even just, you know, um, straight stitch down here, around there, just to really highlight that heart. 
if you want it's up to you um yeah if you're new here and you're wondering why the heck we're using baby wipes it's this is literally aimed at people who don't have a massive stash of wadding and stuff like that i know i've explained it before but i like I still get comments every now and again that and that's the reason why basically because it is for complete beginners but hopefully by now because we've done quite a few that you are starting to build your stash so anyway I'm just tidying up I've now got to do the well I haven't got to but I'm going to do the Anne Brook challenge um and that'll be my next video but I'm gonna leave you here for now all right have a good day and I'll see you on the next one bye